Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharina. Today I'm showing off my primer in my eyelid with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And to set my primer into place, I'm using Laura Mercier Setting Powder. And today's palette I'm using Huda Beauty, the Desert Dust Palette. The first color I'm going in with is Amber, which is a beautiful, rich, brown red color this palette this palette is so pigment and I'm just taking my time making sure everything is evenly blended out and again I'm going back in with amber And to deepen up my crease, I'm going in with this rich brown, dark brown color, and the name is O-U-D. This palette is very beautiful. I like how it's arranged from the warm colors to the cool colors. Tarte just released it this past weekend. I'm going. The name of this palette is called Fall Finger Paint Eyeshadow Palette, and the cover is so beautiful. The texture and the first color I'm going in with is called Gold Coast. And I noticed with these eyeshadow colors, it's more of a creamy base, kind of like the ColourPop. It's best to use your finger instead of a brush. And if you want to go in with a brush, then use a brush and then later go back in and pack that color in. But to get the best payoff, I would suggest using your finger instead of a brush. And I'm just going in with my finger and just packing this color in. And taking a brush just to even everything out evenly. And just going back in and um, packing that color. You definitely want to be careful with this eyeshadow because it can become chunky. And I'm just going back in with a clean bend, uh, blending brush just to blend everything out evenly. And to deepen up my crease, I'm going back in with that uh, same dark brown color called OUD just to deepen up the corners. And for some reason I decided to do a halo look instead. So I'm just going back in with that same brown color just to deepen up the crease. And for the inner corner eye, I'm going back in with the Gold Coast. And to top everything off, I'm using this uh, pressed glitter pigment called Stagers. And to correct dark circles, I'm going back in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Orange Corrector. And for foundation, I'm using Fendi Beauty in the shade 420. And I'm using Kabuki Brush just to blend the foundation out evenly. And for concealer, I'm using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Caramel. One thing I do like about the NARS Concealer, especially this one, that it leaves my under eye feeling moisturized versus dry. Now, they do have another concealer, which is a mattifying concealer. And I try to stay away from dry concealer due to the fact that my skin is already combination to dry. I get the most oiliness during my, uh, in my T-zone area. But overall, my face is normally dry. And due to the winter, I have to use like a moisturizer or oil uh, for a little bit of hydration. 
And I'm just going back in with a beauty, uh, beauty blender just to blend the concealer out evenly. And to set the concealer, I'm going back in with the Laura Mercier. And with a clean brush, I'm just blending out any loose powder. And to set my foundation into place, I'm using MAC Loose Face Powder in the shade Deep Dark. And for bronze, I'm using Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Confusion Fusion in 35i. Using MAC blush and uh, blunt, and I'm just contouring my cheek area underneath my chin, nose area, and my forehead area. And for eye pencil, I'm using Tortortius, which is a double eyeliner pencil. I decided to skip on the wing eyeliner look and just uh, line my upper eyelid area only because I didn't want to take away from the halo effect. And for mascara, I'm using MAC Extended Play Giggle Black Lash Mascara. For blush, I'm using MAC Sweet as Cocoa. And for a highlight, I'm using MAC Holiday Collection Set in Whisper Guilt Extra Dimensional Skin Finish. For lip pencil, I'm using MAC Cork Lip Pencil. And for lipstick, I'm using NARS Bound, which is a mauve uh, pink color. And for top, I'm using Huda Beauty Risky. This completes the look, guys. If you like what you've seen today, make sure you give me two thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.